in the past two, three months, the market has quieted down a little bit. In terms of volume, it has come down from April and May. In terms of price level, it sustained. Uh, basically, a very moderate increase between 0.1 to 0.3 percent per month. Uh, my assessment of the property market remained the same, meaning that uh, in terms of future supply, it is abundant. Uh, the past supply and demand imbalance situation has been properly addressed. As at the end of June, uh, in terms of potential first-hand supply, uh, the number is about 98,000 units in the coming three to four years. It is historical high, and also completions are also uh, will continue at a high level. The only factor that may be a little uncertain when compared with the situation in June is that the U.S. interest rate normalization seems to be. Uh, slower than expected, but the scaling back of their balance sheet would also have an impact on money supply. So we have been monitoring the situation very carefully, but our basic assessment of the situation remains pretty much the same. Do you see property prices to go down in the near future? The timing is really difficult to predict, but our past experience uh, indicates that if the U.S. interest rate back to the increase trend, it will definitely have an impact on our interest rate and consequently on our asset price. Uh, this coupled with the increased supply in the coming years, I would not be sur surprised if there is certain adjustment in the market. This is well within our, our calculation and assessment. Will that have an impact on Hong Kong economy? It did very well in the first half. You even upgraded the estimate. Yes. What's the outlook for the second half? Any chance to upgrade the estimate again? The first half of this year has been very good. And so far, these two months is also very uh, positive. So we are very confident that we will be able to meet the target. But at this stage, uh, I don't think it is prudent to further uh, revise the projection. As to the property market, uh, we talk about there, if really there happens to be a, an adjustment, I'm not worried about its impact on our economy because the situation is very different from that in 1997. Uh, well, in terms of liquidity, in terms, the, in terms of the liquidity of the developers, in terms of the uh, leverage level of our, our, our home buyers, in terms of prevailing interest rate and consequently the uh, surface ability. These are all different. Uh, we are confident that even if there is a, an adjustment in the property market, we will be able to uh, weather through strongly. Very quickly move on to initial coin offerings. Yeah. Um, so in China, China last week said it's illegal. For, uh, to have initial coin offerings. What's the stance of Hong Kong? Is Hong Kong in talk with China on that? We are very cautious about this, mainly for the protection of investors. Uh, our financial regulators are looking at it. As you may notice, the Securities and Future Commission did issue a statement on that. So we have to be very careful because on the one hand, we encourage innovation, free market. But on the other hand, we do need to look after our small investors.